Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between making guidelines and not making guidelines and why I feel when you blend with no guideline is more efficient. All right, today we're going to do a number five ball fade. All right, so first I'm going to take it down with the number five and you want to make sure you get every little hair possible. You don't want anything left over. All right, so uh, you check with your eyes and you also listen with your ears to make sure when you run the clippers over, you don't hear anything else cutting, all right? Okay, so on this side, we're gonna make the guidelines, all right? This, in my opinion, is not the guideline, but it is the ball line, all right? And I'm gonna start the ball line at about right there and I'm gonna take it back to the back of the head and we're just gonna do it halfway. All right, so that on the other side, we'll demonstrate how to do a fade without guidelines. Okay, usually when I make the ball line, I try my best to make it as straight as possible. The straighter your guideline, the more, uh, you know, cleaner your fade is in my opinion. All right, so I'm gonna take it to about right there. And then the first guideline I'm gonna make is the clipper with no guard all the way open, okay? And I'm gonna take it about three fourths of an inch up, okay? Uh, depending on the size of the client's hair, head uh, will determine how big your guidelines will be. In this case, I feel like about three fourths of an inch is about right, okay? So I'm gonna take this guideline um, all the way to the back of the head, and this will be our first guideline. <clears throat> I'm doing this video because a few of the comments uh, said that I make guidelines and I feel like I actually don't make guidelines. This is, these are guidelines. Okay, the next guideline is with a number one guard and again I'm going up about three-fourths of an inch up also. Alright, and then I'll explain to you guys why I feel like making guideline it's uh it slows you down and it takes up time unnecessary time but again the um to blend without guideline requires a little bit of experience okay and now we're doing the uh number two all right with the third guideline that's the third guideline and i'm using the number two and i'm taking it up to about the crown of the head all right so that's one um, two and three guidelines that we just made. All right, so this guideline, will, this hair will be cut twice. That hair will be cut twice. All right, all right, and that's exactly why making guidelines will slow you down because you're cutting the same strand hair twice when you don't have to. Okay, and I'll explain to you guys how that works on this side. Okay, so from here. I'm gonna start right into the blend. Okay, I'm gonna ball out the bottom all the way up to the the start of the blend. Okay, in my opinion, this is not making a guideline. This is just balling out the bottom half of the haircut. All right, it's not making any guidelines. You're not cutting the same hair twice. All right, all of those hairs are gone. You know, and I'm taking it all the way up to the starting point of my blend okay and I'll show you guys how um, how effective this is okay again you re it requires some type of experience true because you have to visualize in your head where these guidelines will be all right again I bought out the bottom with the Phillips Norelco I don't know what model this is I believe any Phillips Norelco shaver would would do the job of it. You know, it's quiet, it's smooth, and it can actually blend. Okay, so here I'm gonna start from the bottom, clipper all the way closed, and I'm gonna start blending up. And I'm gonna go up about a quarter of an inch, all right, about a quarter of the way. And I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna slowly blend it all the way across the head. Okay, and you will see that with the guy line and then without the guy line it's the same thing you're blending the haircut the same exact way nothing else changes except the time it took you to make those guidelines all right you're just blending straight up okay and now we're into the no guideline zone 
Okay, and again, I'm just going up. I know to go up about a quarter of an inch. Okay, and I'm taking this up a quarter of an inch. All right, this is not making more guy lines. This is just blending. You're blending up into the haircut. All right, make sure you hold the client's ear down so the, the clipper doesn't cut the ear because the skin behind the ear is extremely sensitive and extremely sharp. All right, I've when I first started, I, I, you know, I cut a client or two, and I've learned to be extra careful around that area. All right. So after I didn't went all the way around the head, now I'm opening the lever about another quarter of the way, and I'm going up about a quarter of an inch, and then I'm gonna take that all the way back to the other side with the guidelines, and I'm gonna continue doing this back and forth until the clipper is fully open. All right, so I'm fully open right here. <clears throat> All right, so the clipper is fully open, and I'm taking the guy line up into the one, one guard. <clears throat> All right. Afterwards, make sure you want to brush down your client to take off all the, the hair that may be stuck to the skin. And if necessary, if needed, go back and do some uh, detail work. Um, you know, I see some dark spots right there, so go back and just touch up on it. Make sure you make everything smooth. You erase any lines if there's any. And just do your, your touch-up work before you move on to the next guard. All right, so now we're, you, we're in uh, the second guy line, and I'm using the half guard or the zero guard or the one sixteenth guard, whatever you want to call it. I've moved on to it, and I've all the way close and it's the same method I'm up in a, about a quarter of an inch and I'm taking it all the way around the head <clears throat> and then I open it up about a quarter of the way and again I go up another quarter of an inch on the head and I repeat that step back and forth until I completely open the clipper all right and then you move on to the next guard okay again Every strand of hair on this side of the head is being cut once and for the first time. Okay, there were no guidelines made. Okay, so again, you open up your clipper and then you work yourself back onto the other side. You continue doing that back and forth until you're fully complete with that. And now I'm on to the one guard. And again, it's the same method, it's very simple. Okay. <clears throat> As a beginner, yes, these guidelines will help you. They'll, they'll remind you uh, how high to go, all right, and when to start blending out and stuff like that. But as gradually as you gain more experience, you should be able to blend without making guidelines, all right? You should have enough experience to, to mentally uh, visualize where these imaginary guidelines will be. <clears throat> so after I work the one guard, I'm now I'm on to the one and a half guard. And again, it's the same technique, but the only difference is that now that you're closest to the crown of the head, you want to not dig into the scalp so much. You want to be a little lighter with your wrist and more flicking out, more flicking upward, softer with the, the blend because you're towards the top and you want to blend the short hair into the long hair. All right, you do this, you repeat this step back and forth until you're fully open, and if needed, uh, use the clipper over comb technique to get out any dark spots on the around the crown area of the head. <clears throat> All right, you see I'm using the circular motion. This is another technique I use to help me blend without creating more lines. All right, so now that I'm up at the crown of the head, I'm face to face with the client and I'm using the free hand to uh, to cut off any hair that's still stuck still still hanging over the the haircut all right so I'm face to face with him and I'm just looking on the crown the side of his head to make sure there's nothing um, sticking out all right so I do this all around the head in my opinion clients care more about hair sticking on the side of the head than the actual blend of the haircut they want to make sure that they don't have a lopsided haircut you know so make sure you get the corner of the hair 
And now we're into the uh, lineup. Again, this is the most important part of the haircut, the lineup, because a bad blend can be saved by a good lineup, and a bad lineup can ruin a good blend. Okay, so you start in the middle, and you decide what side of your client's hair is higher. What part of his hairline is higher, the left side or the right side? In this case, we're going to the right. All right, so I line, I start in the middle and I work myself all the way to the right side. All right, and I make sure it's as straight as I possibly can get it. <clears throat> Take your time when you're lining them up. And then we're doing the same thing on the other side. You start right back in the middle. I'm still face to face with him and I'm slowly working up to the left side, making sure that I match the height of the right side, okay? Keep checking it, keep eyeing it. Stay right in the middle where you set your starting point. And the only thing moving is your hand, your wrist, but not your not your body, not your head. Okay, the only time you're changing position is when you're lining up the side right here. Okay. Alright. Again, I like to use the, the walls detailers. These are the best liners that I've used. They're very precise and very sharp. Alright. And after you do the lineup, make sure you hit them with a straight razor. Uh, the detailer is just a rough draft of the outline. The, the razor is what will give it the crispy, clean look. All right. And there it is. That's the, there it is, you guys. All right. The side with the guy line. And there All right. it is. And the side without the guy line. And it's pretty much the same thing. It's the same haircut. All right, I hope you guys enjoy it. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.